Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Mosa with One SB, you can call me Mel, and I'm so excited to share this process with you. Today's gonna be part one of my plant room extreme transformation. Oh my gosh, I look like a hot mess already. <laughs> uh, I finished work, we had dinner, and now I'm all dressed up for my little evening of work to do here. So I'm excited because, as you see behind me, this is my plant room, and there's a little bit over here as well. Uh, so we are going to be transforming this space from start to finish. I'm going to be documenting this, so I'm super excited to just be able to take you along in this process and then obviously for me to look back and see this transformation. So give this video a thumbs up if you do like this type of content. Uh, I thought it would just be something extra for my channel and that way you can follow me along on this journey as well. And make sure you're subscribed if you do want to see this series. I'm going to do it in a few parts. I'm going to see how detailed I want to be and how many, you know, steps I want to show you. But today we're going to start with the nitty gritty, which means we have to get take all these plants out of this room and do a few other things today. Hopefully we'll get a lot done because I'm excited for the next steps. So I'm super motivated to get this done. We have it's about six o'clock right now, so I think the next three hours would be good to focus on this project and then, yeah. So anyways, let's go ahead and start. So first I just wanna show you everything. Um, this is the ugly, ugly carpet that I've been waiting to get rid of, so definitely going to, re going to be replacing that. And then this wallpaper, I'm just still trying to figure out what I wanna do with this wall, but definitely wanna take that off. And then in the front, I have this shelving that obviously has to go, some packaging, and then all the plants. <laughs> oh man. Uh, this dresser situation here with drawers and supplies. I got this caddy. I have a little table there. I have this couch over here. And then I obviously have my IKEA greenhouse cabinet behind me, which I've started to kind of empty, but from here, this is what it looks like. Have to take all of this out. Again, I'm just wanting to go from side to side. That way I can compare it later. Like that. The couch is probably gonna stay there because it's pretty big. But yeah, so that's how it looks like right now. And then over here, I'm probably gonna take off that door but that's gonna be the cabinet area still. I'm debating whether or not to keep it the cabinet or take it out, but we'll see. So let's start moving some stuff out. I'm quickly realizing that it's probably gonna take me more than three hours to do what I need to do today because I'm gonna be recording at the same time. So gotta put my hair up, gotta get serious, gotta get mean, no, I'm kidding. And yeah, I'm gonna, call for some backup and get started. So let's start moving some of these plants. <laughs> I really have to cut this. There's only two leaves, one here and one here. Like what the heck? So I have to like, <laughs> I have to fold it in like this, I guess. I'm just gonna try to use up this space. Take advantage of watering some plants, I guess. Look at my variegated string of hearts. It is so long. You see that? Can't tell if it's uh, blurry. Yeah, it is blurry. Oh well. But this is how long it is. Oh. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to untangle it later. Or now. Let's not be uh, procrastinate here. 
Okay, I'll be back. Guys, I'm sweating already. I'm gonna have to change my shirt because this is a dark shirt and that's not a good time. But I'm slowly running out of space downstairs, as you can imagine. Oh my gosh, I gotta wipe my face or something. But yeah, so we're all we're doing right now is the plants. The plants are uh, importante right now to move and make sure that they're safe, that they have a good spot on the main floor. Uh, that way they can be there for at least, I think it's five days or four days because the flooring guy is coming in on Thursday. So they have to be able to live where they are for at least a little bit. Outfit number two, um, it is over 26 degrees. Here's the thing. And uh, I'm already hot, hot, hot. Okay, so this side where you're, where you're against, it just has my two long Rafidophora tetraspermas and then my one long Hoya. Uh, so I'm gonna hold off to move those until after. But now I'm just gonna move some of the stuff that's, well, most of the stuff that's on over here and just hold off on the couch for now. I have so many syndapsis propagations in here. I really gotta do something about them. This one needs a trellis, can you tell, or some sort of pole because this little dinky bamboo stick is just not cutting it. This is my Syngonium Albo. You look how freaking long she is. So nice. Bought these at Home Depot. If you saw my, I think it was Instagram story, they still have the tags on them. <laughs> but aren't they cute? I love them. Yeah, we just have two more crawling plants back here. This is my Syndapsis Silver Splash, and then the other one's my Monstera. Can you hold this one like this? It's two pieces. Whew. This one. Okay. I'll come down with you so you know where to put it. Okay. These are all like trellises and stuff. These kind of go down. It's honestly amazing how many plants you could fit in one room and how many things you could fit in one room. You don't really realize until your main floor is covered with plants that you're like, Also, I wanted to show you these. Don't mind the close-up. 
Eh? This is great use of storage. So I bought these from Walmart and they fit perfectly under my, the couch and I put a bunch of plant supplies in them. So I have one, two, three, four containers under my couch. I know, genius. All right, so what we have left is this couch and my long Rifidophora tetrasperma, which I still do not know what I'm going to do with it. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> She's so long. I don't know. I have to think about it, but everything else is cleared next. Uh, well, next is the couch, but uh, we also have my cabinet as well, which I need to connect because actually tomorrow I'm going to the Equigenera pop up in Markham. So stay tuned for those videos because I will be recording that tomorrow. But that's an issue because that means I have to actually set that up somewhere, like my bedroom, <laughs> so that I'm ready for them when the plants that I got, uh, so I'm ready for those when I come home. So, all right, let's now move the not so fun stuff. <laughs> all right, change of plan, folks. Um, my assistant, <laughs> has told me that it's probably better that we move this first because I still have no clue where I'm going to put my 16 foot long Rifidophora tetraspermis without breaking it or, you know, it's, it's just because it's fragile, right? So I really need to put it somewhere where it's going to have support. Anyways, I digress. So we're going to do this one first. It's going to go in my plant room. This is your plant room. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna go into my bedroom uh, for now and that because I do have space beside my bed I just moved my side table and all that stuff. So in the meantime, it's a good spot and there's a power um, And there's an outlet behind uh, Where this is gonna go so it works out All right, let's start stop procrastinating because I'm just talking to the camera now Because <laughs> it is hot in here yeah, you're gonna cut that out, right? <laughs> My Hoya Crimson Queen. She has grown quite a bit. For some reason, she has a yellowing leaf though. Ah, it's because she's pretty thirsty. <laughs> so here's how long she is now, which I'm so happy that she's been loving the cabinet. But yeah, very pretty. If you haven't watched my IKEA greenhouse cabinet video, am I even focused? <laughs> this is the power cord I use. Super helpful. It's by Genie. That's what it looks like. And I just connect it to an extension cord and it works great.
Guys, when I tell you I'm dreading moving this couch, like, you have no idea. <laughs> so, needless to say, I'm not gonna record this part because there may be some language that's not appropriate for my YouTubes, so <laughs> I'm kidding, uh, not really. But either way, BRB, the next clip, hopefully this is not here. And three, two, one, ta-da! No couch! Ole! <laughs> Just no baseboard either. No baseboard either. I took that out probably two months ago. So yes, now we're gonna move you to the other side of the room so you can see my two Refinitor Tetraspermins. All right, so this is the other side of the room and this is what we got left. This guy and this guy. But this one goes all the way around to the other side here. And then this one comes up and around and ends over here. So, do I know where I'm gonna put them yet? No, I do not. But I think I'm gonna put them in the washroom. I'm thinking maybe put the pots in the toilet, um, in the toilet. <laughs> I think you put the pots in the bathtub and then hang the refidophora off the shower curtain rod. That's honestly the only solution that I have at this point without having to move the plants downstairs or have to chop them. So that's what we're going to do. All right, I lied again. We are not moving the Fit for Tetrasperma plants just yet. We are going to take off the baseboard and then maybe move them or maybe do the carpet and then move them. I'm just procrastinating and I'm working. Just, I don't want to move them, just in case. <laughs> some last words to this very beautiful carpet that um, thank you for your service thank you for you know being putting oh, up God, with all the dirt <laughs> putting up with the dirt putting up with the water putting up with the mess in this room but I think it's time for something new so these are the last two pieces and I'm gonna throw them out the door here and three Two, one. Woo! In the neighbor's backyard. <laughs> All right, so I just finished sweeping, and my husband. Sorry about the echo. It's empty. 
uh, besides what's behind me. Uh, my husband also just took off the nails that were around the baseboard. It is 9.10, 9.07, and I am pooched. We have been going pretty much steady for the past three hours, plus I was filming, and I'm exhausted. I can't wait to shower. I'm so thirsty. So I'm just excited for the next step, just moving forward. Uh, we definitely did a lot of progress today, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, I'm just so tired right now. But either way, uh, thank you so much for watching, and the carpet is all gone. Next steps are going to be coming in the next video. I don't know if I'm going to do every video about this, but definitely stay tuned uh, for the next steps of, of this makeover. I can't even talk. But yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, the next episode of this extreme plant room transformation.